Good morning and welcome back to our morning Lenten coffee time and devotion. This is Wednesday, March the 24th. How's it going? Wednesday is the middle of the week. How is your week going? Are you experiencing challenges from within or challenges from without or challenges from everywhere? Um, I, 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 like the, I like the expression, we're walking each other home. That to me is just such a grace-filled statement. So wherever your challenges are coming from this week, remember that we are walking each other home. You aren't on this journey by yourself. Like I said, this every day this week so far, we can acknowledge the struggles that we go through. Um, but the most important part of it is, uh, is learning what we need to change and, and allowing that change to happen. And hopefully it's a change for the better to a healthier way of not only life out there, but, but life within our own faith uh, journey and our, our sense of who we are in God's eyes. And so we're going to continue reading from our book, Jesus, Friend of My Soul, written by Joyce Rupp, published by Ave Maria Press. And uh, this week we're using the lens of the Lenten discipline of fasting. And fasting not in the normal sense, um, but, uh, but approaching it a little bit differently each day of things that perhaps we can consider fasting from within ourselves. But if fasting from a particular food or activity even um, is helpful in your journey through the wilderness, by all means, um, do that, do that. Joyce's goal in this book is to help us better embrace Christ-like virtues and live in a more grace-filled way. So, cheers. And let's get started. Today she's speaking about one who speaks truthfully. And the gospel that she's referencing is uh, John chapter 8, verse 32. Jesus says, you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Joyce writes, Authenticity rests at the center of Jesus' virtues. Dishonesty doesn't reside in his personal interactions or his lessons. Jesus sought truth and he voiced it. He was honest to the core and spoke directly when someone questioned or challenged his missions. Not once did Jesus use deception to encourage others to think well of him or to lessen the antagonism of those who refuse to accept his presence and message. The truth set Jesus free because he could let go of what others thought of him. He didn't succumb to the ego's need of wanting to please everyone in order to be admired, nor did he inflate and exaggerate his obvious successes so he would look important. Would that our society valued this virtue of truthfulness, to be willing to stand up for what's right and commendable. Instead, Honesty has become corroded with deceitfulness, false excuses, sidestepping blame, and fabricated stories. It's difficult to decipher who's telling the truth and who isn't. This applies not just to big issues, but to smaller ones as well, that progressively develop an established pattern of pretense. Think of how easy it is to devise an excuse for not attending a social function, to add negative comments to baseless rumors, or to cheat on financial matters. Each dishonesty of ours tears apart the moral fabric of civilization and undermines its ability to bring about good. 
Yeah, one of the hardest things that I have to deal with, that I, that I struggle dealing with, are lies. Big lies or little lies. Not so much me telling the lies, but, but me being the receiver of those lies. And, and, and trusting that person again once they've lied. Lies are so, so destructive in, in relationships. And, uh, but they're also destructive to our own selves if, if, if we're saying the things that we think other people want to hear in order to please them. And I've been guilty of that too. It might not be an outright lie, but I'm saying it because I want someone else to approve of me or like me. Um, yeah, that, that can be a problem. And so maybe today what I will work on is fasting from worrying about what other people think. Fasting from pleasing, being a people pleaser and focus more on pleasing God. That's not always easy because the truth does get us into trouble sometimes. So um, talking about walking each other home, uh, if you need support on that, um, know that you're not struggling alone and know that we are doing this together. Let's pray. Spirit of truth, sweep through my mind and heart Clear it from any tendency I may have to use deceptiveness for my benefit. I want to be aware of subtle dishonesty so that my words and actions are genuine. Today, I speak Christ's truth in every situation. Amen. Well, stay safe work hard and we'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye now.